So is AMD going to be releasing some kind of fancy new video card that's going to compete with the NVIDIA RTX 5090? I don't think so. I don't think so. But in this article, they are discussing how the AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT, maybe on some level, might be able to compete with the NVIDIA RTX 5090. And uh, let's jump into this article now. And as always, when I do these videos, I link to the source and you will find that source in the YouTube description down below. So to say that the release of the NVIDIA RTX 5090 video card is a disaster is probably a little bit of an understatement because there are a number of things plaguing this launch. One of them is the price. I've seen it listed on eBay for like $9,000, and that is Canadian dollars, which is probably you know, half the amount in the United States, still four and a half to $5,000 US is a terribly high amount for just a video card, or I think it is certainly. I don't know how you feel on that, but I think NVIDIA, honestly, at this particular moment is just catering to the filthy rich. Why is this the case? Well, demand is pretty high on these and there's a shortage. So, you know, demand high, there's not a lot of stock. Prices are going to go through the roof. Also, there's reports of black screens and even video cards completely failing, like bricking. And as well, I've heard rumors now, and I'm not quite sure the rumors anymore because it's happening to a lot of people, that connectors are melting. So this is not good. And this is probably why people are going to be looking at AMD video cards or even Intel video cards or possibly just leaving the PC market altogether and going out and getting a console. So this is where the AMD RX 9070 XT might come into play. Rumors are, and apparently this is from a site called Chip Hell, or the Chip Hell Forum, is saying that they're going to release a video card, which is the 9070 XT, with 32 gigabytes of VRAM. So if AMD can package a decent GPU along with 32 gigabytes of VRAM, it could mean that you'll be able to play games natively at 2K for a reasonable price. Now, when is this 32 gigabyte version of the RX 9070 XT video card going to be released? Well, I suspect that if it is released, because this is just a rumor right now, it will be after March, maybe later on this year. They will probably release some other gigabyte version of this in March and then hopefully release a 32 gigabyte version later on this year. Because if they do, it will definitely encourage a lot of people to opt to wait and get this video card over an NVIDIA video card. Now, keep in mind, of course, AMD has different technologies than NVIDIA. And, you know, if you want ray tracing, for example, you will need to go to NVIDIA. If you want DLSS and other RTX technologies, AI technologies, then you will need to go to NVIDIA. However, this is an excellent, excellent alternative to uh, you know, NVIDIA, and certainly I think a lot of gamers will probably, if they were with NVIDIA before, are probably going to be moving over to NVIDIA for, well, many reasons, but the main one is cost. And if AMD is smart, and they have been over the last little while, they should try capitalizing on this situation. NVIDIA's launch, like I said, has been rather horrific. And I don't know how it's going to go for NVIDIA in 2025 when it comes to gaming GPUs. Because like I said, the 5090 launch has been plagued with all kinds of issues. Who knows what is going to happen to the other 50 series video cards. But we will have to, I guess, wait and see exactly what happens.